Hey guys, welcome back. So for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the Tarte Tartlet in Bloom Palette. It looks like this. Love the packaging. So gorgeous. But I'm going to be reviewing this today. I asked you guys if you guys wanted to see an actual video review of it, and you guys said yes. I do have a review on my blog that I will leave linked down below just in case you guys get bored or something and just want to go see some pictures. But um, I'll leave that link down below for you. But if you want to see this whole video review on the Tartlet in Bloom palette please keep watching okay so this is the packaging Ooh, so gorgeous I love it it's like flower petals but water colored flower petals the color combo is sick love that pinks reds purples fuchsias magentas you know love all of it I think it's gorgeous I love the gold I love anything with gold on it so that's also a plus for me Let's open it on up. Woo! Oh, mine is a little dirty. A little dirty. I think that's about as good as we're gonna get. Yeah. All right, so this is what the inside look. Let's do it over here. Okay, so, oh, you guys can see way too much of my room. Okay, so this is what the inside looks like. It's got a very large mirror. And then this right here is what the palette looks like inside. We have nine matte shades and then three luster shades in there, which are basically shimmery. Okay, so the palette itself runs for $45. You can find it at Sephora.com, Ulta.com, TarteCosmetics.com, or you can find it at a Sephora store or an Ulta store as well. Okay, so back into the palette, we have Charmer, Jet Setter, Rocker, Smoke Show, Flower Child, Smarty Pants, Firecracker, activist, funny girl, sweetheart, rebel, and leader. Those are the names. Okay, so first I'm just going to start off with the first row. I'll go ahead and swatch Charmer, Jet Setter, Rocker, and Smoke Show. I probably should have done that on my other hand, huh? Sleeve over here. Okay, so first we're gonna start off with Charmer. This one is described as an off-white matte shadow. It's very pigmented and very smooth in texture. It blends out really nicely. I like to use this for setting the base all over my eyes or for highlighting my brow bone. I think it's a really great color for that. Okay, so next we have Jet Setter right above that. That one is described as a warm taupe. It's also smooth in texture, very pigmented, and very easy to blend. I like to use that one as a transition color. I think it's great for that purpose. So the next color right above that is called Rocker. This one's described as a shimmering taupe, and this one is a luster color, which is basically like a shimmery color. The texture is very buttery. It's very creamy. I really love it. It's super pigmented, and I think it's great as a lid color. So that one is definitely one of my favorite favorite colors. Okay, so this last color right here in the first row is called Smoke Show. This one's described as a black brown. It's very, very pigmented. The color is buildable. So yeah, this is the first row. All right, so moving on to the second row, we're going to talk about Flower Child, Smarty Pants, Firecracker, and Activist. Okay, so this is the second row left to right on the palette, but top to bottom on my hand. Okay, so the first one up here is called Flower Child. This one's described as a peachy nude. It has a matte finish to it. It's super duper pigmented and it's very, very smooth, super easy to blend. I love this color. It's a really great color to use to set the base of your eyeshadow or to use it as a brow bone highlight or inner corner highlight. I think it's going to be really great for those things. So the next color is called Smarty Pants. This one is described as a tan color shadow. This one is a matte finish and it's very pigmented, very smooth, and I absolutely love this color. I think it works great as a transition color, which is normally what I use it for. I did use this color in particular on my eyes today as my transition color, and I find that it works really great at just blending out the crease edge and just transitioning everything so everything looks nice and flowy. So the next one I have here is one of my favorite colors in the palette that I'm also wearing on my eyes today. This one's called Firecracker and it's described as a bronzed copper, which it definitely is. I really love this color. I think it's so pretty, especially on the lids. That's normally where I would use it, on the lids or even lower lash line. I think it would be cute there too, but I love this color. It's so shimmery and sparkly. The texture is super buttery, but feels like a dream. It blends out really nicely and I just love the color. The pigmentation is on so love this color and the last color in that second row is called activist this one's described as a dark brown shadow with a matte finish it's highly pigmented and it's buildable it's great for the outer V for defining that lower lash line if you want to create a cut crease it's definitely a great color to do that with so I really love this color for those purposes once again this is activist all right and lastly we're just going to be talking about that third row the colors are funny girl sweetheart rebel and leader 
Okay, so left to right in the palette, but top to bottom on my hand. First we have Funny Girl. This one's described to be a champagne color. It is a luster sheen, and I just really love this color. It's so pretty. I love using it on the lid. I love using it on the inner corner. It's super pigmented. It's blendable. It's not as buttery as the other luster shades that I mentioned, but it does have a butteriness to it, um, and I love it. I think it's a really pretty color. So once again, that one is Funny Girl. There's like things flying everywhere. The second one here is called Sweetheart. This one is described as a peach color. It is a matte sheen and I really love this color. It's my favorite color to use as a transition color. I really love putting like peachy nudes in my transition area. I find that it works really great with my complexion and this color is definitely one that I use all the time. So I really love this color. It's very blendable. It's highly pigmented and the texture is smooth so it's nice and easy to apply and I really love it. The next color I have is Rebel. This one is described as a chestnut color. It is a matte finish, and this one I really like too. I love the warmth of it. It reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna shadow, but just a little bit more earthy in tone. Kind of like a mixture between, if you guys know these colors, the Anastasia Beverly Hills Red Earth and the Anastasia Beverly Hills Sienna. If those two had a baby, it would be this color right here. I think it's absolutely stunning and gorgeous. I am wearing this on my eyes today in my crease area just to blend everything out and I just really 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 love this color. It's highly pigmented, it's blendable, and it's really smooth in texture which I absolutely love. So once again this one is Rebel. Okay and last but not least in that last row and the last shadow of the palette we have Leader. This color is described as an aubergine and it is a matte finish. I really love this color. I think it's really pretty. Definitely true to being more of an aubergine color. It's like a brown but with a hint of like, I want to say like maroon, purpley maroon in it. Um, so it's really pretty and I love it. It's highly pigmented. It's definitely blendable. It's definitely buildable. So once again, that one is aubergine. So my final thoughts on this palette is that I really, really love it. I think it's amazing. I think it's going to work for pretty much every single person out there. If you're the kind of girl that likes to tone it down, this is going to work for you. If you're the kind of girl that likes to glam it up, then this is also going to work for you. There's matte shadows in here, there's lusters in here, which are also known as shimmers. Um, so you can definitely work with this palette, play with this palette. You can use it for daytime looks, nighttime looks. I am obsessed. The formulation of all these shadows are amazing. The packaging is gorgeous. The mirror is huge, which is perfect. You can take this with you on the go. The packaging of it in general is relatively small. It's not a huge palette or anything like that. It's, what is it? It's, um, what are the dimensions? I don't see dimensions on here. But anyway, it's relatively small. So you could definitely just throw this in your purse if you want to and just take it with you on the go. I love this palette. I think it's going to be great for travel as well. So I highly recommend it. If you don't have it, definitely pick it up. And I think it's a great palette. Okay, so that's going to be it for my review of the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. I would love for you to join my YouTube family here. Feel free to leave me any comments below on whatever video requests you guys have. If there's anything you guys want me to review that's out there on the market, let me know in the comments below and I can definitely get my hands on it. If you guys want to see more tutorials using this palette, thumbs up this video letting me know and I will definitely get to it. I think that's it. It. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye. 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 I needed her blankie. Blankie she can't live without. She <laughs> said I cannot talk, girl. Get your life together. Very thick. Very pigmented. Pigmented.